My family threw me out when they found out I was gay. My sister told them. She, uh, she found some messages she wasn't supposed to. I booked into a local hotel for the first night. Nice double bed, room service. And then I had no money left for the second night. So I, uh, I, uh, I went to the bars. I found a guy to take me home with him. And I did the same the night after. And the night after that. It was that or the streets. I, I have learned something from all this though. Never leave your Facebook open. I've forgiven my sister now though. And she can't help being a nosy cow. The test came back positive. Is that the result you were expecting? And now, I'm HIV positive. I only slept with him once. I wanted to use protection, but he said I could only stay if I went bareback. I didn't have a choice. I didn't even fancy him. It wasn't always like this. Julie and I first met when she used to come into where I worked. I've never met anyone like her. She's the only girlfriend I've ever had. My mum and dad didn't approve of our relationship. We gave up everything for each other and now I've got nowhere to go. Well, answer me! Can you not even speak anymore? I don't want to be here. Ever since I started transitioning, I lost a lot of friends. My mum and brother too. I hate this place. I had to grab somewhere pretty quick when I got chucked out, so I'm feeling pretty stuck. Even more isolated. I haven't really got to know my flatmates. I just keep my head down. It's easier that way. Is she a girl or is he a boy? Do we really have to call her him? I've heard them. Downstairs. They're all down there now. I'm sure they don't mean it. I understand that they don't understand, but I just want to feel comfortable in my own home. I will go downstairs and say hello. In a second. With our donor support, the Albert Kennedy Trust has been able to change the lives of young people like Flynn, Emma and Ben. Whether it is through our mentoring service that allows young people a safe place to work through their problems, £25 could pay for two weeks of this vital service. Or our Purple Door Houses that provide a secure environment for young people to call home and access to a support worker whilst they develop their life skills look for work and find affordable accommodation. The £50 you give a month to join the Purple Circle will pay for a night in the Purple Door House. A single donation of £500 enables us to provide over a month's accommodation in our supported lodging scheme, giving young people a family environment with LGBT positive carers. And now, I'm getting there. And now, I'm starting to like myself again. And now, I'm not alone.